Welcome back, everyone. Uh, you own a tractor. You have a driveway. For really anything. Yeah, it's kind of strange to see that, but you should own this implement. And I'm here to tell you why. It's actually behind it. One. A box blade. Why should you own one? Grading. You could drop these, I call them fingers, but they're called scarifers, down. And you could make a garden if you wanted to. This is a Titan, which is now owned by Ironcraft, I believe. This is a seven footer. I know that because it's on there. And I paid $11.50 for it. Now, you, if you go price box blades, that's going to be the price. They'll get real king. Uh, what they what they got? King cutter, something like that. Which is probably just one of these with a real king brand on it. If I really had to guess. Now, um, Oh, our local tractor dealer, they specialize in Kubota, New Holland, Land Pride implements, basically. For this seven footer, it was $2,800. No, 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 no. It was $2,257. Don't ask me why I got them two numbers mixed up, but that's what it was. After tax, $2,257 for seven footer. I started looking around like Roll King. TSC, marketplace, Facebook marketplace, you know, and that's just crazy what them cost. And this one serves the same purpose. Now granted, um, let me look at these fingers. This one here, I've straightened. I know that because that's just, just the way it is. Straight dish, straightener. Now I've actually hooked this onto a tree root and dug it underneath and drove the tractor with it and bent it. Pulled it out, straightened it out, works just fine. Did have to redimple the. Oh, he rotated. With a BB, just had to redimple it. So the. The end of it would come off. But other than that, great purchase. Now, let's talk about some things here. Um, I think they cut these out with torches because that's how they look. I really have to guess. Granted, it is a cheaper product. Let's see, like up in here, it's not complete here. I am. I would say they cut it out with torches. And we fasten this back up real quick. Now, my dad saying, well, a greater blade does just as good as a gob. I say, does a greater blade trap the rocks in or dirt or whatever you're trying to move and disperse it in your low spots? Well, no. Does it when you pull it, leave two stripes because the gravel is just coming out the end? And he said, yeah. I said, okay, enough said. Enough said. So I'm going to show you how this works. We'll get hooked up and... Then I'll talk about it a little bit, and then I'll show you what I'm doing. But first, if you're just now doing a driveway, or yard, or I don't know what you're doing, okay? I'm going to flip these over, put them in the ground, put them on the top hole so they are furthest down, and you want to drive a few straight lines. And then I like to do a zig, a zigzag, a snake. Then I like to flip these up where they are now. 
And then I just like to put the box, actually the blade, down and pull whatever it picks up. Because this breaks the ground. These are meant to break the ground up. Now I'm going to show you, actually I wish I had some four, four pictures of the driveway, but I can describe it. There was no gravel towards the garage. There's none. It was a mud. And up here, the driveway went like this. Big hump. So I just psh, psh, psh. Now the driveway's like this to pull water away from the barn. And then everything up here goes down this little path here. Through there. Then the rest comes on the edge and then it works its way around the garage there. This way. Now that place is in a mud pit. Now I'm just going to pull some gravel from this side, build this side up a little more again. And I don't think I have to drop the fingers down. But uh, yeah, let's uh, get on it. Alright, so pulling gravel from mainly this side, we'll put it through here. Just erosion, you know. Water coming. But the way this is set up, it's got a good lean to her. Actually, it'd be this way. Because this tire is new and pumped all the hell. This one's older and it's. It's a little lagging. 
in the air patrol in the air department. So it's going to pull more from this side. Actually, it's going to be deeper this side and then be able to disperse it out here. Now, you could do the same thing with your arm here. You can tighten up an arm angler. But for today's purposes, and this is convenient, we're going to do that. So here we go.